Hi, this is Akata Fashions. Today we are coming to demonstrate how to connect your Ultramax smartwatch with an iOS device, an Apple phone. Okay. First, let's see how we can fix the ocean straps. So first you pick the head of the Ultra and make sure the crown faces you like this. You turn it upside down and then you pick the short strap. Make sure you are seeing this silver uh, point. Yes. So you slide it into it just like this. Okay. And when you are removing, you make sure you click here, this small thing. You click it inside and then you push it out like that. Okay. So in the same way, you push it in. Okay. Now let's do for the longer one. You make sure you are seeing the silver thing, not this one. Okay. Here is black. So make sure you are seeing the silver thing here. Okay. So carefully slide it up okay so that is how to fix the strap the ocean strap okay okay now let's move on to how to connect it with your apple phone okay so first this ultra max watch works with the web pro app okay and to get the web pro app go to the app store and download it so this is the app store you click on it okay and then go to the search bar and then you type Web Pro, W E A R. And then you add Pro, P R O. That is it. You click on it. And then it is the first one, the one in green. Okay. So you click on it to download. After it is download, you will see open here. I have already downloaded mine. That's why you are already seeing the open. So you click on open. And this is the first page. Okay. You agree to the terms and condition. And then this app is similar to most watch apps okay you have to create an account with your email and you have to select a preferred password in order to access it you can also do a direct login with your apple id or your google but here we are going to use the guest mode you can also use the guest mode because it's like an incognito mode okay or it is similar to anonymous login okay so for me i think that is the best for me i don't want to be using my data everywhere so you can also do the same okay so you go to guest mode. Okay, when you get to guest mode, this is what you see. You can choose the measurement, the unit measurement you are comfortable with. Others are comfortable with the imperial you can select. So anyhow, you do will be good. Same as the temperature. If degrees Celsius you are used to it than the Fahrenheit, you can choose any of them you are cool with. Then you go to next. Okay, here you fill in your bio. You can upload your picture here. This is your user ID. Fill in the spaces for this. Okay. The height. You can choose to leave it like that. And when you are sure of the data, you are filling in. And then you come back and then change, make changes. The next one is after you have filled everything, you click on save to proceed to the next page. Okay. Now, this is the app. This is the home page of the app. There are various icons for navigating the app. There are about four. This is the first one, which is the health, the spots, the device, and the name. Okay. So to connect the watch, you have to go to devices in order to add the watch. So you click on the watch and then you click on search. And then it will scan. For your case, since you'll be alone at home with the watch, you will see only one. But I have various watches here. So some of them are appearing here, watch nine and other watches. So it's the first one. In order to be sure, if you have multiple watches, you can scroll down and then this I button, you click on it. And then you can see that the Bluetooth IP is ending with 5.0. If you can see, it's similar to the first one. So that means it's the first one. So you click it. In your case, you wouldn't be having multiple watches. Okay. So you just have only one and you select it. Okay. So you a pop-up notification will come requesting you to pair. So you pair. So after pairing, oh, our connection field. So let's retry again. Okay. So Okay, now it's successfully paid. So anytime you see these issues like this, go back and then repeat it again and the problem will be solved. Okay, to finish. So it will synchronize and everything will be okay. For this one, it's a tip for you to upgrade the firmware. It's already upgraded. So I'm on the latest version, so it's okay. So after this, you are done with the connection in terms of the Bluetooth. Now there are some other petty petty things you need to do around here. One, you toggle on the incoming call if you need calls on your watch okay you also toggle for 
SMS if you need it. If you don't, you turn it off. And then you can go to other apps and then toggle it on. So if you need all of them, you have to turn all of them on. After you are done, go back. And then I think for now, everything is okay here. So we are done with the app. So the first stage is to connect the watch in the app. This is the first thing you start. Whatever we did here, this is the first thing you will have to do. Okay, before doing any other thing. Now, you go to the Bluetooth and then connect for the calls. Okay, so let's go to Bluetooth and connect for the calls. Anything that comes concerning the watch, please allow it. Okay, like what just happened, it popped up and then I allowed it. Okay, so let's go to pairing for the course. Okay, so to pair for the course, first you need to turn the Bluetooth of the watch on. To do that, you need to follow these steps. Okay, navigate on your phone to the Bluetooth settings. So, where can we get the Bluetooth settings? You go to settings, and then this is the Bluetooth settings. So, you click on Bluetooth settings. Okay, whilst you are here, quickly go to your watch, double tap it, and then double tap again. You see this thing. Okay, now you open the Bluetooth. You hear a sound like this. And then you search for watch audio here. For my watch audio is already connected. So let me disconnect and then go through the connection again. So you search for watch audio. You see, that is it, watch audio. So you click on it and then it connects. Now you can see watch audio 7550 connected. And then the smartwatch too, the one we did in the app, is also connected. So now you have two connections. Okay, so you have the smartwatch. That is the connection we did in the app. Okay. And the second one is the one for the calls and music. I hope it is clear. So let's do a small recap here. When you are doing the connection, you need to do for the app first. That is the first one. You do it in the app. And the second thing to do is a Bluetooth audio. Please. Don't do the Bluetooth audio before doing the app. Is that okay? When you do it like that, you have difficulty in connecting it. It has to be systematic. So you follow for the app. You make sure you do the connection. When it is successful, you proceed and then connect for the audio. How we can set wallpaper on the watch. But before then, a quick one. When you set this thing, you will get the watch will be working perfectly. The watch will work perfectly after doing all these things but sometimes due to some settings on the iphone you can sometimes do all this connection all right but you will not be receiving notification so when that happens this is what you do you quickly go to settings let me go back and do it again so when your notification is not coming after you've done all your connection go to settings this is settings now go to notifications and then click on show preview and then tick always okay in some circumstances when you open it will be somewhere here or here if it is any of this remove it and change it to always so you go back and then you search for any of the app let's say if you are not getting notification for messages you click on messages then you make sure this is on this is on this is ticked this is ticked and this is also ticked okay then you scroll to the last section which is lost screen appearance and you go to show previews this one show previews you click on it and also set that one to always if it is on any of this remove it and set it to always is that okay now when it's done you can do for all the apps so the apps will be listed here Let's say you have this app, the Photos app. You can go check for all of them, and then you set the Show Previews to Always, and then you go back. You can do them individually for all the apps that you want to get notifications for. Okay. After you are done, the problem will be fixed. Okay. If still your problem is not fixed, you can call me. I'll leave my number in the comment section, and then you can call me and then i'll see how to help you out but when you do all these things i think you should be fine next one which is setting your your picture as a wallpaper on the watch okay maybe you have a very nice picture and you want it to be on the watch you want to 
show up a little bit. Yes. This is what you do. You go to the app, the one we downloaded, Web Pro app. Click on it. And then go to the navigation tax bar. Click on the device. Okay. Now. Okay, it is synchronized. Now you can see that our watch is connected. Everything is working perfectly. So you hit on my watch face. So you hit on this one. Then you wait for it to load. Okay. So you wait for it to load. After it has loaded successfully, you will see a lot of watch faces here. Some are being sold, some are free. Let's demonstrate one. Let's choose this one and set it and see. This one, you see, as you can see, is free. So you have two precautions. Do not leave the page during installation. And after this dial is installed, the watch will be automatically updated. So let's push. So you click on this and then it starts. So it will take some few minutes to download. Okay, so download is complete. Now it is about to push it to the watch. So you see this on the watch. Okay. Now 100%. So you can see this watch face is on it now. Okay, let's try other ones. Let's try other ones. Okay, enough of this one. Let's choose another alternative where you use your own picture as a wallpaper. Okay, so to do that, still on this page, you see custom. Here, you click on custom. And then there are three options. The first one is the picture. Yes, one picture. The second one is the album DAO. That is multiple pictures. A maximum of five pictures. And the third one is the videos. You can actually use a, a short, a very short video. About one to three second video as wallpaper on the watch. So let's start with the picture. You click on it okay and this is how it looks so to add the picture you need to click here this plus sign so you click on it and then you click on select from album this one so you click on it now let's this is the picture on my phone i have only these pictures on my phone so we demonstrate with one of them so let's see let's use this watch okay so you make sure you crop it and then well adjusted after it is set you click on confirm here confirm so after it is confirmed you see it like this so you can also set the style okay let's say we want the yellow one and then we can set the location you want it to be at the top and then after it is done, you can go back and then click install. Okay. So, yes, after some few minutes, you realize the picture has been set successfully on the watch. Okay. So now, let's go back. This one is for two or more photos so that one you can add from the album and select about two or more you can add another one okay it follows the same procedure but you can keep adding you see this is the second one let's add another one okay let's add this one okay so you can add up to five is that okay and after that you click on install and then it pushes okay so after a few moments you realize it will install and then successfully upload 
the pictures. Okay, same applies to the videos. That one too. You click on the videos. And then you add a video from your gallery. You can see. I have this video. So this is a video. You just click choose. And then it will select just about two or three seconds of the video. And then when it is okay for you, you click confirm. And then you see it here. And then you click install to upload. So this is very simple. So you can try it out due to time. We cannot finish all of them. But you can also explore through these ones and then you'll be able to get it. Thank you very much for your time. And also thank you for your patronage. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. We meet again in our next video.